Hi guys, in this video, we'll be seeing how we can attach extra volume to our EC2 instance and also how we can modify that extra volume. So for that, first we will go to volumes, create a volume of 11 gigs. The availability zone will be as per your EC2 instance. Create the volume. So here is my volume. Refresh once, 11 gigs, action, attach volume, the instance, this is my instance and attach. That's it. Just cross check once in our EC2 instance. This is my instance storage. The volume is attached. So now we need to re uh, mount this uh, extra volume to our EC2 instance. So for that, I will open putty as I don't have SSM installed right now. And uh, now we require the IP address. Details. Here is the IP. And paste ssh auth browse the pem file this is the pem file and open accept so we are in so first we need to hit sudo su change directory okay now let's uh, first check uh, the hard disk lsblk this is the command to check and you can see that xvdf this is our extra volume 11 gigs and it is not mounted so let's do that first so we will create a directory first let's give it a name now we need to make a file system mkfs.xfs and uh, dev and xvdf this is xvdf this is our extra volume hit enter create a file system we'll check the file system exists or not dev xvdf yes it exists so now we click on mount dev xvdf and now the directory name which we just created so yes now it has been mounted so we will do df hyphen h and check yes it is mounted successfully now we need to do an fs tab entry because when we reboot this server the data in our extra volume will be lost so we need to put an fs tab entry for that we require the uuid which will be getting by entering the blkid command so this is the uuid we'll just copy it and i will open my notepad yeah so this is my notepad which I created. It includes each and every step. So I will attach this in the description below. So you can check that out. So here uh, UU ID I have pasted which I just copied from here. So this will be my directory name. And I will copy this whole line. Copy it and now I will clear the CLI first. Now let's make an FS tab entry. ETC FS tab. Insert. Enter. And here is our app. Let's get out. Escape colon WQ exclamation. We are out. Let's check whether it exists or not. ETC FS tab. Yeah, the line exists. Let's go out, exit, exit, and now we will just reboot. That is, uh, stop and start our instance and check whether our external volume is mounted or not. So I'll just unpause the video when my instance is running. As you can check, my instance is running right now. So I'll copy the new public address, go to my putty, and let's get in ec2 hyphen user at the rate ip address search auth browse then file open open accept so we are now let's check by first entering sudo su command now ls blk yeah now you can see that it is still mounted let's just do df hyphen h also yeah it is mounted successfully and now it is a part of our root volume not part exactly this is mounted successfully i meant to say now let's see how to modify it for that we'll go to our instance 
volumes select the volume action modify volume let's make it 12 modify modify yes it's done we have modified it let's go to instance and check also it is not completely done so the storage 12 so now we need to and uh, run the grow command that also i mentioned over here let's enter the file name which is z e okay let's go so cd just come out copy the full command and let's paste it over here df hyphen h to just check in here df hyphen h now you can see the volume has been modified to 12 gigs now you can also run df hyphen h capital t to check the file system so yeah this is how you can add modify your extra volume to your ec2 instance so that's been from my side today and also don't forget to check me out on linkedin i have attached the link in the below description below thank you